Probably my guiltiest pleasure is Big Bang Theory, but you know, I watch a lot of Jimmy Fallon, you know, late night stuff because <laughs> I get home late, but I, I can watch about eight of those in a row, no problem. <laughs> my guilty meal, my guilty food, it's meat. I like meat, I like medium rare, and I like with a lot of fat. In the realm of guilty pleasures, possibly um, taking down the occasional pint of ice cream might be uh, a guilty pleasure. Though I don't have a super sweet tooth, I do really like ice cream. My guilty pleasure. It can be anything. Easy. Um, the best gelato in the world is in Vancouver, Bella Gelateria. James, my buddy, my brother, my uncle, my cousin, my everything. Uh, the matcha flavored green tea gelato at Bella Gelateria in Vancouver will knock your socks off. You don't have too many guilty pleasures left over. I mean, I've kind of had to shed my, my guilty pleasures as, as the time's gone on, but um, you know, I really enjoy just being able to have a late meal like I used to. I mean, chefs are really known for working really hard, going out for a meal at the end of the night, eating inappropriately, eating it late, and I still love those sort of late night meals. And we have some great meal shops around in Los Angeles that I really love to go to. I like to try to get as far away from what I cook as possible. Um, and uh, that's generally my indulgent late at night. My, I would, I would have to say that my guilty pleasure would be a nice glass of brown spirit. I do like bourbon, and uh, yeah, it's nice to have a, you know, a few fingers on the rocks just to, just to unwind. But yeah, that's a bit of a guilty pleasure for mine. So this is like the extremest guilty pleasure ever, <laughs> and I can't believe I'm admitting to it on camera. Um, but things like uh, nacho cheese Doritos. Yes, and the New York City slice of pizza. Um, you know, these things are about as horrible as it can get to put in your body. You know, sometimes there's like this weird magnetic force that just like sucks me out of my restaurant and draws me to the bodega on the corner. And like, I'm just forced to get like a bag of Doritos or a bag of like salt and vinegar kettle potato chips. So yeah, but you know, that's because you know, big food has like hired, you know, very skilled uh, research scientists to like create these things that actually trigger these responses in people. Um, so I am as susceptible to it as anyone, even though my awareness level is very high, I still succumb to the powers of nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs>